Hey, hey, it's Cody with VA Deep Review, and uh, I'm going to be doing a cigarette review for y'all today. I'm going to be shooting this one solo because uh, Justice is at school, and I'm at home suspended for various yada yada, stupid shit. But um, anyway, what I'm going to be reviewing today is the, the Pall Mall Menthol Blacks. Now, these have been out for a while around here. I think like a year maybe, but I haven't gotten a chance to go pick any up. I've just been too busy smoking my Marble Reds and my Southern Coast and all that bullshit. But, um, they were 50 cents off, so I figured I'd go get a pack of these, try them, shoot a review for y'all. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the uh, pack design. Um, I honestly think that it's pretty good. It's got, you know, the little symbol, looks like the Philip Moore symbol. The pack is green and black, and that's pretty cool. But, uh, I mean, most Palm Mall packs are just solid colors with um, the little symbol on there. But this one's a two-tone, so that's pretty cool. But, yeah, let's go ahead and pull one of these out and see how it smells. It definitely smells like a strong, strong, strong menthol. This is, I mean, I smell a lot of the menthol coming through. No, none of the tobacco. It's a lot of menthol. But, uh, yeah, still a little dry pop on it. Yep, I'm definitely tasting a lot of menthol there. Um, I can't really get a taste of the cigarette. I'm just getting a lot of menthol. But, yeah, um, I kind of packed these down pretty good. Maybe a little too much, but I don't think it should uh, affect the review too much. But that way I can get a taste of the paper. The paper's not bad. It's it's definitely a cheaper paper, but it doesn't taste chemically like this Marlboro Lights, for example. The paper just tastes like chemicals, but this yeah, this doesn't have that. So let's go ahead and take a pull. Initial impression, not bad at all. It's got a very, very, very clean menthol taste. It's not a dirty menthol. It's it's a good taste. But uh, let's see how the body is on it. Not bad at all. That's a very good body. Um. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a nice big pull. Pull down to my lungs. See if it's got any pins and needles. Goes down nice and smooth and easy. This cigarette, it's burning pretty evenly. It ain't got no spots that are burning faster than others. Filter. Filter's getting covered good. It's not spotted. It's not all going to one side, which a lot of cheap cigarettes do. These aren't. So that's a good thing. Um. So, yeah. I'm going to be doing my cigarette reviews in the style of Real Cig Review. He's another cigarette reviewer on YouTube, and in my opinion, one of the best. I don't want no comments from anybody saying, hey, you stole, you know, Real Cig Review style. I don't want to hear no shit like that, like I said. I'm giving him full credit for how he does it. His reviews are my inspiration to start doing reviews and how I'm going to do them. So, I mean, you all should certainly check him out. His channel is Real Cig Review. He does uh, cigarette, cigars, e-cigs, all that good stuff. So, I definitely recommend y'all go check them out. These really aren't bad. For the price, they're, like I said, and in our Paul Mall Red Review, I mean, we talked about the price and the whole budget thing. It's a budget cigarette, but it's not bad. I mean, they're 303 to 320 a pack around here in Virginia, whereas, you know, shit like... Ugh. Hold on. Shit like these, even these Southern Cuts, Marble Reds, these are all 471 to 540 depending on where you go. But um, for the price, it's a really good cigarette. I mean, if you're on a budget or if you're like me, I run out of cigarettes, you know, I get paid, you know, Tuesdays. If I come up Monday and I ain't got no money, I'll start counting, you know, scrounging up quarters to go get me a pack of Palm Malls. So these definitely hit the spot in a lot of cases.
we're about a little bit over halfway through with the cigarette, and I mean, it's still got a good taste. Sometimes cigarettes, the more you go, the more you smoke them, the taste kind of changes, they might get harsher, but these don't do that. I mean, they're a good, solid, clean menthol taste through and through, and I like them, so. Overall, I'm going to give the taste, um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, because, I mean, I'm not a menthol guy. If I smoke a lot of menthols, I mean, I get a headache. Or let me make my, my stomach upset. I'll smoke maybe one pack one pack of menthols for every 20 packs of, you know, reds or southern cuts or camels, unfiltered, or whatever I'm smoking. Um, but they're definitely a good menthol. Like I said, they're, they're real minty, but they're not as bad as something like a, um, a Camel Crush. If you've ever smoked those, those are just like inhaling Vicks Vapor Rub. I hate that. But these got a nice clean menthol taste. I mean, they don't they don't taste like chemicals. They don't taste like, you know, ass. But um, I'm gonna give the body on it about a. Uh, oh, let's do it again, shall we? <sighs> I'm gonna give the body on these about an eight out of ten. They got perforated filters, so the body isn't as big as it could be. I don't know if you can see them. I doubt it. Put little holes in the filter so you get air in with to draw. But um, if you were to cut the filter off, then off these things, I mean, they would smoke like a chimney. They got a great body to them. A real nice full cigarette. And uh, let's see, what would I give the pack design? Like a 6 or a 7? So yeah, overall, I'm going to give this cigarette a 7.5 out of 10. I mean, it's a good cig. I like them. I mean, I can't smoke a lot of them, obviously, because, you know, they'll upset my... My body function and whatnot and all that good shit. But um if you're in a menthol mood, these are great. And they're cheap. So I guess that's kind of a bonus, in my opinion. I'm not quite sure. But um yeah. See, this is this is where you start to realize where they're cheap. You see how that uh the paper is separating from the filter and how it's kinda all gunked up in the middle and not all through and through. That's starting to indicate, you know, that it's a cheap cigarette. But once again, they're not terrible. I like him. Justice likes him. Like I said, he's in school. Otherwise, he'd be right next to me doing this with me. But, um, I guess I'm going solo on this one. But, um, yeah, anyway. I got a couple minutes left. So, uh, I guess I'm just going to ramble. If there's any particular cigarettes, little cigars, uh, dip, chew, I mean, whether it be Red Man, Skull, whatever it is. If y'all want us to do it and review it, just drop us a comment. I mean, send us a message, you know, comment on the channel. Do whatever you got to do. I mean... I mean, it's going to be a 10 out of 10 chance that we'll get to it. I mean, we're kind of, we're a small, we're a small base review channel at the moment. So, I mean, we're willing to do whatever people want. I mean, if you got any suggestions, I mean, any comments at all, just tell us, you know, we'll, we'll try to change if you're not liking something or, you know, if you want us to do something different, we'll try to do it that way. But yeah, just let us know. I, uh... Right now, well, let me see what I got as far as tobacco products go. Ugh. All right, currently I got the uh, Skull Long Cut Cherry, and I got the Grizzly Wintergreen Pouches. So uh, if y'all would like to see us do, you know, if you want us to maybe redo this one, because, you know, Skull Cherry was the first review we ever did, so... It might not be as good a review as it could be. So, I mean, if you'd like to have us redo anything, like I said, just let us know. And we will, uh, certainly do it. But, yeah. I think that's about all I got to say. So, uh, this is Cody with VA Dip Review. Bye.